Yeast is one of the four base ingredients in beer, and here at Old Irving, Trevor uses his background as a chef to inform which yeast he's using when he's building his beer recipes. It's an interesting thing, making the shift from being a, a chef to a brewer. There's a lot of parallels. Um, basically, the, the thing I really loved about cooking was actually a lot of low and slow processes. I really did like the, um, the high intensity of the kitchen. I liked all those things, but I noticed myself getting a lot of enjoyment out of like making a mole, something that takes like seven hours. It takes patience and you know, you, you go through and you, you taste, you taste, you taste until it's absolutely perfect until the end. I started home brewing around that same time. Me and my buddy would just home brew and we're doing all grain brewing. I really loved it. I didn't ever want to not be doing it. I saw a huge gaping hole in the Chicago industry for brew pubs specifically, and that's kind of where the journey began. With yeast as an ingredient, it's just kind of like, uh, I call it like another one of my crayons, you know, I don't want to ever take away a color of my crayons, so uh, I always think about what the yeast can add to achieve what I need from the beer. We're gonna make excellence happen, and part of that excellence also has to do with using those ingredients that go along with that, and that's why I use Omega. We worked with Trevor right from the beginning. He's brewing a lot of Northeast style IPAs, hazies as some people call them. So we've given him some guidance on what strains to use to get the, the characteristics he's looking for. He's also doing some big stouts that he's barrel aging as well. So you know he uses different strains to get higher alcohol content in those types of beers that'll stand up to barrel aging. Recently we made this beer called Cinnamon Prost Crunch. So we actually made a white stout. We didn't use any roasted malts at all, and I wanted to be able to achieve some sweetness, so I needed something that wasn't gonna attenuate as far, which means I had to mash higher. So, you know, this is when I usually call Lance. Uh, I, I give him a call, I'm like, all right, man, this is a crazy idea I have, what do you think? And then he'll point me in a direction. In this case, it was an Irish ale yeast, which you would use in most stouts anyway. You mash a little bit higher, you add some lactose, add some beautiful cinnamon, some like really nice triple A Tahitian vanilla bean. Bam, cinnamon roast crunch. It went over really, really well. And that's kind of what we do. We like to be very playful, and then the yeast is just a component that'll help uh, finish the story for us. So I'm standing here with Trevor, and we're in the brewing area of the brew pub, and it's so fun, because it's all sectioned off by a chain link fence, and it says, please do not feed the brewers. I love yes. that. Yeah, one of our employees, Tim, made that up uh, last minute. He actually ordered it and everything, and I've uh, been mad ever since. People quit feeding me. <laughs> yeah, I'm really upset about it. I've been, I've been losing weight like crazy. So, I love it. Yeah. So we're gonna try the Rat Pack. Now remind Great. me what this beer is. So this is a quadruple ale, okay? So it's a Belgian ale, usually pretty malty high in alcohol, so it's like 11.5%. It's been uh, laid down in some uh, Buffalo Trace Sazerac rye barrels for eight months. About two months away from the end of the maturation phase, I added some tart cherries and some orange peel, mm. so it's built exactly like an old-fashioned cocktail. So, awesome. yeah, let me give you a little bit. That ought to do it. And it kind of comes off, it's kind of almost like uh, reductive as well, so you're gonna get some kind of like figgy, jammy notes yes, to absolutely. it. absolutely. And then this is the Omega uh, Belgian Ale uh, yeast strain that they use in them. Wow. I've never had a beer like this. No? This tastes like a beer cocktail. Yes, exactly. It yeah. really does taste like an old-fashioned, but in beer. Yep, the whole point of this was because I love old fashions. and So do I. Yeah, and it's, you know, especially this part of uh, Illinois and so close to Wisconsin, people adore this cocktail. So I figured this is a good way straight to people's hearts. <laughs> this is delicious. Thank it may you. be 11 o'clock in the morning, but I think I might drink this. Do it.